Welcome to the channel, Mac Doctor Bill. I want to start by saying I appreciate it and I thanks every single one of you for subscribing and liking. Today we're working on something that for a minute I've been holding, holding back. This is perfect time because I'm doing things myself. I ask few of my friends they busy. I ask few people the bike boys life and stuff like that. Everybody like gets care like. Mm. So I am watching dozens of videos of um this motorcycles and YouTube to uh pretty much DIY my motorcycle. Story short, if you remember, I got this bike about a year ago, right about the same time as that. We got this one in a tray and a couple of dollars that I gave in for a little dirt bike that I was putting together. So we got this 98 Honda F3 CBR 600. Some of the parts when he gave me, he gave them to me, but they were not installed. This carburetor needs to be reinstalled. Right now I'm figuring out things. Story short, all these lines and all these vacuums, I'm putting them in order. I've been watching videos after videos to get them done. So far, all this, when he gave it to me, it was not even here. So I have to watch about several videos in order to connect the order of this line along here. Because everything was, again, in the back, just hoses. I bought extra hoses. Some of these clamps, that are key. They are like a factory. You know, you want to use this, not your typical adjustable clamp. Because with the cords, when you put them in and out, it won't have space. So it's better to pull those. These are the OEM clamps. These are my replacements. So it's very similar if you guys see. So you want to stick with kind of OEM parts, you know. I get this at a local Ace Hardware store, sort of the hosing. So I'm trying to figure out the vacuum hosing. This is pretty much vacuums. Um, before I get myself ahead in the video and put the whole bike together, like I said, I was able to figure this out. A uh, few lines in here that I put as well. Um, it's simple. I'm just trying to figure out everything. One day I got the correct order for the fuel lines and everything. We're gonna install everything little by little. We already stole, it started with this. Sorry, I don't record that, but that's why I give you a heads up what it was. I check everything from videos to video to match the lines that I had with the parts that I had. Because when they took this apart, they took it apart instead of keep it together they kept the all in parts so now i'm simply going to put it back together myself adjust everything once everything is adjusted throw some gas get a battery going on it and hopefully get her running for a first start not in this video but i figured it'd be pretty cool to give you guys a heads up on this uh 98 f3 jam this is a time capsule Compared to no bikes, it doesn't make no justice, the new ones, like this one is so underrated because the designs on this is kind of like Busa style, you know, the white bikes, they're not skimpy bikes, like compared to some of the bikes they got now, like some of the ninjas now that, I don't know, I had a couple ninjas in the past and they were just like skinny, I like the whiter look bikes, but um, yeah, I'm excited to get this project going, took out the side covers. Um, I do got a new seat cover for it that I have to fix up and put in here. I got the new leather. We'll talk about that in the future. And you're missing the rear part of the tail, which is like 200 bucks in eBay, but I'm not worried about that. She does got clean title. So I do want to get her going in case I want to sell it. Because I had a market where people cry too much. Oh, it's a running this and that. So I'm going to get it running. And then I'm going to ask my money. But um, yeah. I'm going to keep going along here. I'm trying to check more of the diaphragm parts. So I did go on so long. Once I got this figured out, I'm going to pull out the carp. There's four lines in the carps that I got it put in. That's what I'm trying to figure out. The uh, placement on those lines. What I got to do with it so I can store the carp, the carp back. Hopefully everything this important is installed, like this fuel line that I have to connect here for the fuel filter. At some point connect the gas tank back. Throw some gas, see if we could get a battery. 
hopefully we have no leaks and we could get it to turn on so with that being said i'm gonna keep working my magic again there's dozens of videos in youtube and it's not really specific they check the camera too much or if it's a car clean they each show you how to remove it but then i'm showing you the diaphragm of the lines this is important how to show you guys how the order because the guy just gave me all of this like this apart so i had to like figure out myself and done videos stop it pause it many times to see the location they had it the placement they had it the right holes where they had it exactly everything so everything could be done with impatient and that's what we're doing with it and i can't wait to get it going so with that being said let's get it all right so we continue I was able to figure out this other one goes here as well which this line was coming off the car because this is all vacuums so we look little by little getting everything into place i gotta figure out how to tuck it right once everything is in place gotta figure out where this holes goes we got this uh filter line in here we have these other line here so little by little bit i'm figuring out things how it goes in the order it goes where so that we could get this installed we also gotta find out where the plugs pretty sure it goes on one of these you got to look for the right um, plug for it. it. should be simple. Plug is the only thing on plug from it. Everything is plug and play. You know, you throw a battery. There's nothing that's installed. Not the coils. Not from the engine. So this literally was just vacuum hoses and a couple few lines that came removed from the gas tank. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because our videos is blurry in YouTube, but little by little way we get in it there so we could hopefully figure out if we could throw the gas tank at some point and get it started so let's get it all right so one more that i'm doing to see that show you that everything counts i thought i could put the clamps just on these air holes because our air holes a couple of days ago when i was working on it and this is like a swivel so it gets cut when you move the carbs and it tucks in with the frame. So this is precise the way they build this. So important is something has the right clamp. And I put whatever comes in mind. So this was garbage. End up getting these like I showed you guys. So I'm trying to place it with one hand so you guys see. Oh, important little details. And of course, if I get the right pliers for this uh, clam installment, that will be a plus too. But it'll work. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But um, I'm going to get that situated real quick. Alright, so we got the right one in place. If you guys see it right over here. You guys see it nice and out of the place that way this could swivel back and forth I'm not gonna interfere so that one more key bar that we are installing and patience and research is everything so you learn something new every day so that's already in place not going anywhere it's a vacuum line so I'm gonna proceed to keep um, looking things that reinstall and I'll show you guys as I go on with it let's get it Big difference. All right, one more line that I'm putting, one more part. See this line over here to the carp is four lines. So these two joints as one there and there goes two lines, the return and the sender. So I'm putting simply that clamp in place. This one is already tied up in place. That's the, the new clamp off. Just gonna tighten up the bottom as you see it needs to go back so one more thing that i'm doing and um we'll hook up this hose in the back just trying to tie it up the carp back in place see if we could button things up let's get it so let me show you something that uh is doing now that wasn't able to do 
because we got the right clamps now you see how these swivels back before because it had one like this in this side and the regular adjustable clamp on that side it was hitting here so when i was trying to push the cart back in there it was holding it so it's important to put the right clamps because now this will swivel back you see we got space all around now to put it into the uh housing clamps or plastic housings for the intake there for the cart so little key point things like that that you know that will help your life easier if you put the wrong part it's gonna make it a lot harder so the was problem that i have for just putting something as the wrong clamps so keep that in mind all right so one more that i'm doing to see that show you that everything counts i thought i could put the clamps just on these air holes because the air holes a couple of days ago when i was working on it and this is like a swivel so it gets cut when you move the carbs and it tucks in with the frame so this is precise the way they build this so important something has the right clamp and i put whatever comes in mind so this was garbage end up getting these like i showed you guys so i'm trying to place it with one hand so you guys see Plus, important little details and of course, if I get the right pliers for this uh, clam installment, that will be a plus too. But it'll work. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But um, I'm going to get that situated real quick. Alright, so I have to put this one clamp over here. This hose. This hose is going to be connected here. I got the other hose connected the other side. Just a little bend it, but it's alright, it's got a little play. So I'm gonna put this one here. So I'm gonna install this one in this cart back. <clears throat> that should be those lines for the cart. Install, pause, hopefully. We still got a couple of fuel lines that we have to do. These are vacuum lines, we already know. So we good money. So little by little, we have everything according the way it goes. So uh, let me install this so that I could properly put the card back trying to put the card back and install the card back and hopefully adjust it all right so i just want to show you everything else is tied up there's nothing undone no wire and no bolts this part right here that you guys seen that is lights in inside there once in place you could simply adjust your clamps through the side with a long screwdriver and you adjust them one at a time so yeah i got the clamp back there i'm just gonna simply slide it right in there i don't know if you can see the fitting foot just throw that back in so we could start tightening things up again these are vacuum lines at the end everything is figured out it's only air but it's important because the intake box is gonna get hooked up on top in order to put the gas at the the gas tank back so yeah i just want to make things up the way it goes not just macked up but tie it up the way it goes with the clamps so nothing leak with the vacuum lines or gas lines so i'm taking my time i got the right stuff for it so i'm freaking out a little by little with the research that i did i'm gonna tie it up everything and we'll come back all right so i don't know if you could see it right there that one is already tied up in place that's the line that we was waiting to put in place i'm gonna set in the cart back in place and start tightening things up look at it all right i have the cart flush in there you have to wiggle in place make sure the lines nothing is in the way everything is top clear again these are vacuum lines that we figure out that we got to connect so it's a matter of go through the side with a no screwdriver. Show you guys. <clears throat> it's a little dark. But right through here, with a long screwdriver. This is how you do your adjustment for the cart. You do one at a time. 
it said set in place, was set in place, it was adjusted, was not moving. It's already done. I gotta tie them up. Once I tie it up, again I'll start putting the vacuum lines. Figure it out. Um trying to put the inter backs at some point because I have to install the uh gas tank back so that we could put the gas line back to the fuel and hopefully in the future throw a battery and um turn it on this is like little parts that for a long time i was installing and um installing and do because i want to do my research before i did everything this is a time cap so like i said so i didn't want to do it wrong if i saw it or sell it i didn't want anybody to love all me or even if i drive i didn't want it to be driving for a wrong performance for doing something that I installed wrong I'm not no mechanic by any means but I have learned a lot through YouTube videos so yeah big up to YouTube you know what I'm saying this is how you learn things in your life and pay it forward and do videos like this so maybe somebody will learn if they had the same situation and the same problem with which in this case it came to me and not taken apart but just vacuum lines and a few lines of gas that was taken apart from the tank most people don't have an engine taken apart and it's such a headache there was no wiring taken off no motor parts off just a simple couple vacuum lines and a few lines so we're figuring that out and hopefully this video is helpful and i could get this bike button up to uh hopefully next bit to push it to uh first cold start so let's get it all right check it out boys you gotta check out the progress and you gotta trust the process everything is mapped up so far like i said all this day i have to figure out earlier before i even started with anything this is how it goes factory this sits here holds it this sits here right about around here we got another line like this that we're missing so i'm gonna just duplicate it because it's a vacuum line and just it comes out from here it rests over here in this side for the intake box pause so things is looking good i got one more line i gotta figure out here this one goes to the side uh fuel line and we got these two here that I have to figure out that's about it but um everything is looking button up I still got to tie, tie it up my car so it adjust it it's already set it there seat it um, I want to tie it so it don't move so that I could eventually throw the air box here pause which once everything tied up does something like this Then the air ducts, it connects to the back. Still gotta go more down, of course. You can see it's not seated right. I just set it there just for the looks. Once everything is tied up, and your vacuum lines, they connect, whatever. Um, then we put our gas tank, and that's pretty much it. Still got several clamps. Again, big difference with this type of clamps. You always wanna go with what's OEM. Right, and then uh, go through these. I had a whole stack of this, so it's not like I didn't have a whole stack. This is Harbor Free. This is Basura, at least for this. Like, for this part, I got away with it because it wasn't interfering with everything, but I kept them OEM. Being that was one short, so it's only a vacuum life. It was a fuel line, I would have used that. So here, it didn't interfere with anything, so I just did just that one. Every other holes, is the correct uh clamp is the correct one but um not too shabby boys it's a lot more promising than just a couple months ago what i have so we're getting very close to find out once i put the fuel tank in the future probably in this bit and i put fuel and a battery and hopefully you know we could get it for a first crank or you know first start but um, things are looking good. Like I said, I'm gonna continue 
Still gotta do a few things here. I gotta type the carbs real quick. So I gotta steal my light. So that that could be already tied up. We could tie it up everything over here. Put the air box in place. This goes over here in the air box, obviously. Rest there. So everything is currently the way you see it now. Everything is the way it goes. Of course, this hose has got to go to the other side. So this is going to be out of the way. Pause. Um, two more hoses from here. So we like three vacuum hoses away that I'm still figuring out. Not a big deal. Guarantee you we could still get the tank going in the future and she still will turn on Just is gonna be a little Misfiring or something maybe because of vacuum line So that's why I'm trying to put every vacuum line and everything correct So I have the least problem when she turns on So that being said, let's get it All right, boys. So right in here, like I said, is this four clamps You need one of these I wish I could have recorded but I didn't have better lighting and I had to do it one-handed but if you could see right there you see one two three four that all clamps lining up I'm gonna try to simulate the screwdriver so you guys see how you adjust this corpse so take the screwdriver put it through the side you see and you could adjust all four of them this last one simple obviously it lines up right here this is now seated adjusted in place every line is hooked up so um yeah simply i'm gonna proceed with everything else so we could throw the air backs on and i'm pumped man because uh just a couple months ago i had a bag full of hoses and things that i didn't know that it makes sense i asked for help I offer people that do it for me, I pay them, things in exchange, nothing happened. So after months of doing research, educating myself, here we are today. Hopefully this video could help you guys, like, it helping me. And maybe we motivate you, you know what I'm saying? They go on more FB, pick up a project bike, and do work yourself. It is possible, I'm doing it myself. We also got the YC250 there. Show you that real quick. You guys remember that? I did this in the channel a couple months ago. It's got new fairings, new gas tank, new seat, new plate, new stickers. We sort of cleaned up the frame. We gave it a fresh, quick paint job, if you want to call it. Mirrored it out. Um, this one, hopefully, in the next video coming up. I'm gonna make sure because it's all uh, it's push start as well you know it's crank it's got the key over here I got the ignition coil that I have to hook up he gave it to me so those are little things that I got to do to it but I'm pretty sure that I don't need a battery I could just throw some gas and get it on so this is things that I'm excited to do in the channel to bring the uh, toys in the channel I got rid of the four wheeler but at least we got like the mini bike got the dirt bike we got the Honda CBR crash racket. We got a few EV7 bikes over here, here in the electric bikes when we, you know, go to the park and have fun, me and the boys, family wise. But um, yeah, there goes the gas tank. Like I said, now the car is tied up in place. Everything is most figured out. So I'm pretty sure I should be able to throw the intake airbags on. It should interfere with nothing at all as far as vacuum lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's get it. One more thing that's important to do before we put this monitor into the box. We gotta put it on, this is your throttle body. This is your accelerator. So we got the wire right over here in the side. Pause, you see it. Gotta bring it out, put it back in place, adjust it so we don't have to mess with that before. Unfortunately, we have to take it off to do all this work. But um, we everything nice and neaty, you know, things is going pretty good. This I am gonna um, put back in place. So when I put the air into the backs, I could just simply slide it in. You know, things is looking money. So uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, boy, one more thing that I mentioned as we go, I put this in place and didn't really add 
realize something I, I told you guys and I'm honest this is my first time trying to work on this bike because I have worked in previous bike throughout my years so let's clear that out of the way not first time working in, in a bike in this bike story short this vacuum line I was trying to figure out whether to go if I said on the airbags correction no the airbags only have one spot which is here and that sets over here this line that comes out of here and the line that comes out of here that sets here it simply hooks up here so I gotta put this line underneath it simply just put it here so put it there again these are our vacuum lines like a big intake system so that's what it is so everything is falling back in place everything is looking money I'm pumped I'm excited I hope you guys are excited same as me so simply smash that like if you like the content trying to bring different flavor to the kitchen and keep your boys motivated so with that being said let's get it all right boys so everything goes in order we continue this is the right order of the vacuum line we have it in place there it goes on top resting here not underneath it gotta connect it here or there we got this last one here for the air filter sort of a cash can if you want to call it whatever correct me if I'm wrong but the other line comes up here the other vacuum line again connects here this line I'm missing it but I'm gonna go to ways hardware by a regular line this flexi cut it to length so I could just get it off from this side connect it here the air box just set here this is already in place this goes back to the air box connect uh, location here and this is all set now I come on to work from over here and this is all set carps is in place this is very much done a lot has that accomplished throughout this video just some simple one video and um me watching on my home it would have took me a lot longer would I have to pay a couple hundred dollars maybe a couple thousand to somebody trying to play the game oh man this is a headache you gotta get the diaphragm you know to get the right order something simple watching all the people's YouTube typing and researching the right videos that I'm looking for my right answers questions you know so here's your results so I'm gonna continue with whatever little stuff I got before we throw the earth enter box on put the wire back on like I said and um we should be good money all right boys honest mistake I was saying I didn't have the holes this holes I found it within the tire then this holes I had a switch over here so it's a matter of you looking for the right pattern the whole time this one that fall it fell perfectly here in place which I'm gonna put the clamp here I left it off it's already installed there the other one I switched it, it's already there, hooked up over there. And this back switch, it just simply goes down at that angle. So we're going to figure out, I got about three more, two more hoses to go. Main vacuum lines are connected. So I'm happy that I didn't have to get something that didn't go to the bike. Clearly it goes here and um, I was mistaken, so let's get it. Alright boys, so we keep going. I end up taking up the carp because it wasn't seated right. I thought it was. So I end up taking out the rubber boot to install them here and just simply drop the carburetor right. Problem is the position with the screws are here. You can't get with the side cover. So I'm taking the fairing right now. I was avoiding to taking them off. But they gotta come off so that we could do it right with that close to finishing this up let's get it all right boys finally got both of the fairings off got them to the side don't know if i put them back being that I could just take them off and detail them don't know yet getting myself a little ahead of time what i do know i removed them so i have better access so i'm gonna continue to remove the other two boots from here because when i was pushing in they would just like grabbing here and not going all the way up flush like over here so I put them over here so I could just simply slide them down 
because they do have an order they go down once they tie it up tie them from the side that one needed to get the covers so you see the screws they point in that position in that position so yeah it's gonna be fun punch out a hole in my finger pause but part of the job no bitching so fun and games but um yeah we get to it we'll come back all right boys this is what we're looking like ah i'm beat been literally all day doing this but everything is assembled back all the vacuum lines this is the line for the tank these also a fuel line for the tank um everything's back in place airbags i gotta put a few screws in here this also got a bracket that goes in here and holds it pause so i just gotta put on three screws nothing that I can do tomorrow carb is already in place everything's in place i'm gonna keep the side covers off until the next time so that i could button things up we'll do probably like partial part two on it trying to see if uh find out if we could be able to put the gas tank back and uh make sure it doesn't leak hopefully put some gas on put the battery and um get installed but um not too bad boys today's job was like i said to assemble all this back when i got this back this bike all right boys so everything is tied up nice and neaty air fit to back in place follow the diaphragm everything is connected correctly every hose today was to assemble all this bag when I got everything from the owner everything was in the bag none of this stuff was assembled so I'm excited I'm beat but you know they worth the work is worth it no longer bike this taking up or taking shape hopefully by the next time I should be able to throw the side cords on put the gas tank on which I should be able to put it on now but I'm gonna keep it off now until next time I'm gonna put you on into something I gotta do to it um, we also have to put on the seat which I gotta polish it I got a new seat cover for it I just gotta get like the staples so I'll show you real quick pause this is the new seat new leather just gotta get stretched to the side gotta get staple and bada bing bada boom that's done so I do have the seat the only thing is missing on the bike is the tail rear cover it's about a buck ninety right now it's not a necessary but it'll be dope to have it in the future so I'm trying to get everything possible everything is taking shape like I said I asked many people all for the pay I mean life is life you know what I'm saying you gotta depend on yourself you're the only one that you could count on so I can't put this on nobody other than myself but um pretty happy inside it I got this far you guys seen all the work all the stuff that I put on it was hard that research thing you know where everything goes you know follow diaphragm from different videos different videos so we're getting a step closer to see if uh, we could get the start at some point so for today's video we're gonna wrap it up here again I'm not putting the side cover on due to I want to make sure when I put the gas tank everything is correct so we'll do part two coming up soon hopefully we have the gas tank situation situated uh, a battery and maybe cold first cold start so but things is looking good boys I'm gonna wrap it up here today I want to say uh uh, thanks and I appreciate every single one of you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. Staying tuned in the channel. 
Again, trying to bring different flavor, different taste. Um, what can I say? Pretty much a DIY channel, whatever, you know, I learn, I'll pay it forward and I'll teach you guys, you know, whatever I can. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. We'll pick this up some other time. Today I had a little time, it was raining, couldn't really do body work. I wanted to work on the CRX. I wanted to work on the Honda Fit. But none of that stuff came through. Being the Mother Nature had to do the stuff. So we put in the time on the Honda CBR, being that we had it for a minute. So, um, yeah. Thanks every single one of you. Until the next time, stay tuned and um, peace.